it's curious because you've got this KDU414 and it's got 272 second ISP in vacuum and I can't figure out how to get it to do better than the Airbees. <laughs> um, how is that possible? The Airbees are lighter, that's for sure. And these are, I mean, they're half the mass and they provide a lot more thrust. They provide 21 kilonewtons, these provide two. So that is a problem. And they have the same burn time. But could we have like a hundred of these on here somehow? Can we have like nine? It's amazing how long I've been using the error beast, that's all I'm saying. I mean, but that's four minutes and forty seconds of burn time. Okay, four minutes and nine seconds of burn time. That gets us so these have 272 seconds of ISP, which is like great for these kinds of engines uh, right now. And it, they, but they only have 40 seconds of burn time and this is 4 minutes. That'll get us 2,194. The crazy little Arabies get 2,032, which is not bad, in 1 minute. And it's the same mass. But we can't even burn these for the four minutes. <laughs> also, it's a little bit wicked that the KDU-414 is twice the mass of the ARB with ten times less thrust. I mean, actually it's about the same mass as this variant, but still ten times less thrust. But this gets 231, this gets 272, but... Ugh. Just weird. Is there something we can use instead of the Arabies? Agena? Hmm... I've avoided using Agena. But yeah, Agena would be good. Don't want to have something that big that's not European right now. How much worse would it be if I changed this core to have three tons of control? Doesn't seem that much worse, right? We need to put the ComSat payload back in though. Well, it's no fun if it isn't hard, but maybe we can do with a little bit less of the RCS propellant. It seemed like we had too much there. Of course, that would require us to tool that 3-ton avionics. I don't think I want to do that, actually. Now we got some more science. Are we re we're not researching anything. Let's see. Early power generation. Well, you know, here's the avionics cores. We just need 0.7 more for that. Okay, well, that's what we'll save up for. Hopefully our little... Satellite will give us that. Yep, okay. Let's just stop warp and start unlocking that. Okay, so... Oh, we, we could have launched a polar camera thing already. Okay, polar... Ignition. And launch. Okay, booster set. Now that's a bit lopsided, but it'll probably work out. Oh, only if I can cut that. They said they wanted it steep. Um, <laughs> guess we're gonna get it steep. But anyway, we have the Gamma 2 to deorbit us, so we'll be fine. We'll try and plop it on the United States, I think. We've got 600 meters per second. So, if we deorbit from like here. And they want us to come down sharply, mind you.
that trajectory seems rather convincing. Okay, ignition of that Gamma 2. That should be good enough. From what they said. Probably Gulf of Mexico-ish. Maybe Mexico itself, I don't know. Okay, while we still can, let's separate. Oh no, we lost comms. Why? <laughs> Why did we lose comms? We have comms here, right? Communication. Yeah, we do. We have electric charge. Svalbard. I guess it's not Svalbardish comms or something. Anyway, everything should be said. Polar. Okay, we got some comms. Live, probe, live. There's the rest of our rocket. Much G force. Well, no heat indication this time. Oh, there's a little heat bar there. Okay, well, water, water. They probably make things sink, so I better recover it quickly. Recover! No more recovery! Okay. 9.9 .9 credits. Very good. And we got extra signs for uh, recovery of a vessel returned from Earth orbit. I don't think I'm allowed to use that. That's... everybody uses that. That's too good. The RD-58. It's too good, so I can't touch it. Oh, this the this one is allowed. Pump-fed gas generator, generator hydrolox engine for uh, Black Knight and Blue Streak. Four hundred and ten, but ten ignitions. I wonder how hard it is to get good cryogenic tanks, though. But okay, we, we could eventually get to that. 16, 20, 35, 40. Better power generation though. Maybe these other solar panels don't have the degradation problem. I guess we have to take a swing at that. Okay, Geosat. Let's hope we succeed. <laughs> Alright, throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. Launch. Okay, staging. Bearings. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to go. Oh, sorry. Oh no! Why? Why didn't it throw up? Uh, um, maybe after one more orbit, that'll be right where we need it to be, though. But we don't have our RCS active. Sell the fuel down. Hopefully. 
That's some seriously unsettled fuel. Those little RCS thrusters are trying. Maybe the rotation is just too much. It doesn't say any ignition penalty for Q though. No. It says it was just un unstable. Well, our lower stage RCS thrusters did it pretty much immediately. So anyway, I think we're going to have to do this differently. We'll um, we'll put it into a orbit where it can help with communications, but we can't use it as a geoset. Actually, just go for it. Yeah, I don't think we can turn to prograde, so this one will have to stay in its lopsided orbit. Oh well. Let's deactivate the avionics. And maybe it'll be a commsat. We could send up a different smaller cubesat, uh, not cubesat, but commsat. And prepare that on ELA-2. I feel like, I mean, maybe this we could do this communication communication test satellite again with a better dish. They're letting us pick it up, so okay. So we need to uh, get to this orbit. Forty-one degrees should be okay. Yes, we do still have the problem. Okay, so, ignition, and launch. I'll go 40 degrees. Booster set. Stage set. That's one end of it settled. Oh, okay, uh, switch off, switch off. Well, that's why you have the other engine. Uh, I think we'll wait in orbit. It's too dangerous to try and do it this time. Go. Go a little single one of these engines. But we can't possibly have that much burn time with it. But it is rated for 3 minutes and 20 seconds at least. I don't know if that's going to get us to our 4,434 kilometers, but we'll see. Oh, we have a line. We have a line to that satellite, that NMG. Is this our first relay? So that, wor that one works. Seems like a very generous cone. Oh, it's got reduced performance now. Please hold out for long enough. I think right now we're in range where the RCS can do the trick. That's happy. I want to see how long it can go for though. But it's got reduced specific impulse anyway. Alright, let's just stop it. Alright. So it's happy. We'll wait for it to check. It's checked it. It's happy. Oh, I can't control it anymore. It probably doesn't help with comms if they take control. I don't know. If it doesn't work out and they don't take control over it, we get a commsat. If it does work out, then they take control over it and we don't get a commsat, but we get the contract complete. So I guess it's a win-win. Okay. Throttle up. Now say us on. Ignition. Launch. Okay, separation and ignition. No 
OK. All right, let's go. Still a bit tight. I think we'll just go straight out and then try and deal with it. Much cone. That will be. Will we be able to sp stop spinning in time? I mean, roughly speaking, it's the right direction. In a pinch, we can go. Uh, I think it's sort of a pinch. Long screen. Okay, let's see what we need to do then. It's tough. Well, this would be a good place to have a geosync set. Okay. Ignition. Uh oh. Uh oh. Low power mode, please. Uh, okay, no. We're just gonna use the one engine. Ah, uh, that's way lopsided now. Day in 28 minutes even. Oh, uh, well, they're not gonna like that. <laughs> yep, we ran out of RCS. Let's hope it serves us well, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we simply must get this geostationary satellite contract done. Last time we had too little RCS propellant, but I've decided that drastic times call for drastic measures. We need a complete rework of what we're doing here. And so I have decided, first of all, to make use of the fact that we are about to complete a um, early interplanetary avionics and probes. So that will give us smaller probe cores, and I've decided to change the probe core up here uh, to an early interplanetary avionics thing and have it control the whole stack up here, the three tons. And so that will hopefully help out, and you can see we're under three tons there. But I've also replaced the AJ-1027s finally, the little air bees are gone, and we're using another Gamma 2. This gives us quite a lot of thrust weight ratio unfortunately, and it's not using its full burn time at all, but it's got more delta V than the AJ-1027s, uh, so I decided it'd be good here. Uh, I, yeah, it's, it's not optimal, but it gives us what we need. We'll, it'll boost us up and we can put RCS here because the control core now has the ability to control all this, so that will save us a lot of trouble. I thought about uh, changing all the cores, but that's got to take a lot of tooling, and I didn't want to do that just yet. So, I will tool the new procedural tank for the Gamma 2 up there, and also the new avionics core. I guess I can tool it ahead of time before we unlock the thing. Nope, doesn't cost as much as I thought it might. Uh, so, we're still waiting for the actual technology to unlock. That'll be in June 23rd, so about a month. I don't know if we can start building this ahead of time. Now we'll have to uh, upgrade the pad though because this has new propellant for the Gamma 2 that we didn't have before. I mean if we reduce the size of the third stage here it'd be okay. We could just use that fuel for it but we're using a little bit of extra propellant now. So alright. Okay, we have to wait for conditioning. Okay, so reconditioning has happened. We'll do the GSE. By the time we do the GSE, probably the technology will be ready. Okay, so that rocket will be done by August. Of course, we can build something else on the other pad in the meantime. 
But to be honest, I'd like to see what the early power generation can do for us before we build anything else. Alright, I did cook up something off to the side, but it's not ready to roll out yet. So, SAS on, throttle up, ignition. And launch. So, geostationary satellite attempt number whatever it is. Here we go again. Okay, we should be through max Q. RCS active for separation. Separation. And we continue. Hey, fairings. We're using the Commutatron 16 this time. Because of its omniness. Okay, next stage. Three Gamma 2s. And then we have one Gamma 2 up there. Delta V seems fine. Probably want to pitch down a bit though. Okay, that's good enough. And this time we really don't need this hanging around since we don't need to spin it up. So for power's sake we can just jettison it, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not making a big mistake. Okay. Looks good. So now... The equator again. We seem perfectly well balanced in power since we can jettison that stage. We'll wait until we've got a good location where we can burn out of that will definitely get us comms. Well this time around maybe Kano can do it. Let's see. It should be alright to burn out the stage. 2,257 shouldn't get us all the way. You can see it requires 2,400. Well, something like that would be good. Uh, Kano is actually a little bit off to the side there. Well, that's promising. I mean, that's about the same distance. And again, we can burn this out. We can come back around and do the subsequent burn afterwards. Okay, now that we're in sunlight, how are they doing? 0% wear! We've got 0% wear this time, folks. We should definitely take advantage of it. We don't have any science to do. Okay, settling down, just in case. And ignition. Well, ignition. I didn't do any inclination correction as part of this, I could have. Ah, oh, it failed. Gosh, we had everything going for us and it decided to fail. Well, I should have figured. <laughs> all the Gamma 2s, all the Gamma 2s we've used decide that this one would fail. Right. Well, we get another comp set. Yeah, let's just stump that. And, um... I'll boost up. Well, we'll probably lose comms that way. Okay. We'll go up to Apoapsis and then sort of boost up from there. See, you don't need to have some sort of special commsat arrangement. Just failing these contracts will give you plenty of commsats. Okay, good enough. Oh, that's basically, that's not really circular, but... 31.5 kilobits per second. Can you imagine? On the left, I'll right there, but... We obviously upgraded the tracking station as well. And now we went from like 1 bit or 2 bit to 31.5 kilobits per second? Crazy. Anyway, well, another comm set. Uh, let's make sure that it's fully charging and everything. So, uh, normal. We'll do all the proper things. Shut down the avionics after we've oriented it and spun it up. 
You could put it higher, of course. We've got extra delta V and many a couple of vector ignitions, but this is fine too. Plenty of recharge. Okay, that's fine. Back to Space Center. Well, that was just an engine failure. We can try again. Yep, we're going straight for another one. Same thing, just hoping that the engine doesn't fail. Throttle up, SAS on, ignition. And launch. Okay, RCS prepared. And separation. Bearing set. Okay. And the gamma tubes. That last restart roll was mighty close to that chance, huh? Are they all? Well, they roll different. But this one, mm, that's trouble. <laughs> mean time between failures 2.12 hours. And I happened to get one on the last time. I think we, we might be short this time somehow. Well, a little bit short. Guess I can use the remaining RCS on here, which is a fair amount actually, to boost us up. Should carry less RCS on it. That's transfer stage usage. Why we have those? No, oh, I didn't extend the commutatron. We better watch out for that. We are in orbit, though. The RCS saved us there. While we're still out of communication. But we've picked up. Let's get the Communitron out. And we're probably going to do the same thing as last time. Um, wait in orbit and then burn while in calm with Kano. Okay, I think that's enough out of that stage. Separation. That'll help a power situation. Will we finally manage it? Our spin stage is over there, 400 meters ahead. Probably we're not going to hit it. Probably. <laughs> Uh, why are you there still? It's pretty close. Okay, running the RCS to sell fuel down. And ignition. 10 meters. Guess it's all right. Pretty sure NASA wouldn't approve though. It's gonna kill rotation there. Please finish the burn. Okay, burn complete. Now I'll turn off the RCS. Let's see if that's working. Alright. So we'll just have to come around, I think. That's too stretched for me right now. We'll come around and do a separate burn. How's the solar panel degradation this time? Zero. Uh, we are communicating with Deneb G there. Do I trust it? <laughs> Is it going to be good enough? Separation first. Oh, I'll take the chance. Okay, that's our desired apoapsis. We're good. <laughs> well, 
We have been successfully relayed through one of our other satellites. Bounced. What does it say? Bounce signal to, through relay 23%. All right, two apoapsis. Okay, we should have enough. We have 1600. We need 1500, let's say. Please let this work. I'll go with the two engine version first and use the last engine, the center engine, as a backup if things go wrong. So here we go. Okay. Below one degree inclination. Okay. That's okay for me. Uh, but okay, it's happy. It's happy at long last. Let us, um, no, we're not really going to get it exactly a day because just turning it is producing a variation there. And we don't have RCS all around to correct that. And it's more important for me that we get the power so that it works. Okay, it is spinning and we are going to shut down avionics and it is going to be a powerful addition to our network, I guess, I hope. We will see. Certainly it's got all the bits with the new upgraded stuff. Once again communicating to our DSN. Oh, what was it saying? I think it was 31 kilobits per second. So, alright, finally we've done it. And with that, with this, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.